Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Lindsay. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. This is my favorite video to make. My vision board came true, yay! Okay, so this is the first year that I made a vision board that lasts a year. My previous vision board lasted for five years, which ends this year. Um, I do not have that one with me, but here's a splotch of that video that came up. And let me tell you, pretty much everything on both came true. Um, this is the first year where I ever set an intention for a vision board. This is the first time I was a little more detail. And it's also the first time that I assessed my goals halfway through the year. So I'm so excited to go over this vision board because actually because I assessed it six months in advance, the majority of the things on this board came true within six months, which is significantly quicker. Let's start with my own show. So if you're new to my channel and you see me posting interview videos that are called Dose of Bliss, that's my own show that was on my vision board. So yeah, I manifested getting my own show. You guys, for real, this is like insane because this could only be manifestation. Now, how did this happen? Well, it had been a thought that I had had in my mind for like my whole life and I was too scared to act on it. I couldn't sleep at night because I wasn't where I wanted to be. I was telling myself I couldn't do it, I wasn't good enough, so I wrote down every show that I could be a host for that I thought that maybe I could get an opportunity for. One thing I wrote was Good Morning La La Land. I saw that was a new show in LA and I thought, let's write this down. I couldn't find their contact information anywhere, but I just, I just wrote a list of people and emailed everyone on the list that I could find contact for. The next week, my friend Lauren Francesca, go follow her here. She's also a great YouTuber, asked me to be on her podcast. It was filmed at the same place. It's Good Morning La La Land. It turned out they were looking for more hosts for their network and you were able to create your own show, but also have the rights to it to put it on your own channel. Like, that happened a week after writing it down last year and putting it on my vision board. This was before I put it on my vision board, actually, you guys. I just wrote it down a week before it happened. And then, bam, a week later, I had my own show. And now it's been one year of filming it, you guys. And it's growing. It's growing my channel. It helped me get monetized, which brings me to another vision board goal. A goal to hit 10,000 subscribers. Okay, so you're gonna say, Lindsay, you don't have 10,000 subscribers. I don't, I don't know if you're looking. And you know, I don't yet. However, like, vision boards aren't always like, bam, I'm gonna hit 10,000 subscribers. But you know what did happen? Last year I was demonetized on YouTube. This year I got re-monetized, so now I'm making money on YouTube. What's even crazier is I made a six month update. So this visual is six months in of working on my goals, what my watch time was, and literally within one year, right on track, I got monetized. Not only that, you guys, this isn't even on my vision board. I hit one million impressions on my YouTube channel. That's manifestation, don't you think? I, I think so, and seeing the progression of the first vision board six months later to today, perfectly on track, it's crazy. Then there's also me on the red carpet. As we know, I have manifested my dream job of working for InTouch Magazine. Since then, it was bought by a publisher called AMI. That publisher owns every magazine except for People, so Us Weekly, Star, OK. So now I, I freelance for everything, and because it was bought out, now I work for all magazines. So before that buyout happened, I wasn't working as much with the magazines because they were working with some internal different things and I was getting really sad because I really missed that part of my life. I truly feel that part of my purpose is to be a journalist and I don't know completely how it's going to manifest in the future. I really hope it comes out the way that I feel in my heart. Um, but I was getting really sad. I wasn't working as much as I, as I wanted to. I didn't know what was gonna happen. And I kid you not, once that merger happened, all of a sudden they started calling me like two to three times a week. I started pitching more stories again. You have no idea how happy this has made me. Now I can say that I've been published in Us Weekly, In Touch Weekly, Life and Style Weekly, like everywhere. Here they are popping on the screen of all the things that I did just this year back with the magazines and I couldn't be happier to see that happening and I really hope it continues to grow and also turns into me doing some on camera things more too. But I just want to say like I had kind of given up inside. I, I felt like I don't know how I would get back and and I did. I did this year, somehow, I, I don't even know. I, like The universe knew I was praying for these things to happen in my heart and they, they did. And you know, 
I know I'm a believer in the law of attraction and, and manifesting and intention, but sometimes you're like, I feel this in my heart, but is it going to happen? And it's happening. Something different I did on this board was saying in 2019 I am. So I based this entire board off of intention. So what does that mean? Intention is more powerful really than anything else. It's the intention that you put behind it that really catapults a dream. For confidence, I wrote, wrote work out because you love your body, not because you hate it. Instead of thinking like, for example, when I used to put on my vision board and I can show a picture of this, I used to put a picture of abs and like a tape measure around it because I wanted to be skinnier. But I wasn't getting to the health aspect of it, about loving myself, because no matter how skinny I would get, I'd look at myself in the mirror and continue to think I was fat or ugly or if I was prettier, people would love me more. And I would work out so hard that I didn't even want to work out. And so then I wouldn't achieve my goal. So I'm like, nah, I'm done with this. Like, I want to be confident in myself. I want to love who I am. I want to work out because it feels good. Not because I'm going to push my body so hard that I don't feel like working out. And so I changed that mindset. And you know what? I am starting to really think more than I am beautiful. I'm starting to be happier with how I look. And when I work out, I work out now to feel good. Whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. I have based my life on this. I have so many goals on this vision board, so many things, but I don't want to burn out. I've realized this year that I'm super happy with where my life is at. It's the first time in my life I'm content. I still have these feelings like, why aren't I on Oprah? Why aren't I doing this? But you know what? The intention was to do what I do makes me happy. And you know why I'm not always doing all these things every five seconds? Because I'm really happy with my life where it is right now. I just got monetized on YouTube. I have a great blog. I have a great job working with a magazine. I own my own business. Do I want to get to those places? Yes. But I am happy and do not want to sacrifice my happiness to get there. So if I have to take my time a little, if I have to hone my craft, I want to build my own thing, I'm going to do it. See, I let the love for myself increase each day. I think if you can go through my videos, you can see my confidence growing and going for it. Now, next one is healthy. Oh my gosh, this one's a crazy one. We talked about this in my halfway video. Um, I wanted to be healthier this year. I wanted to cook better. And I think what's so important about this is understanding why things happen. I got really, really sick this year. I had a lot of stomach issues and I was sitting there being like, this isn't on my vision board. I don't want to be sick. What's wrong? I, I have to figure out a way to get better. But because I got so sick, it catapulted me into living an even healthier lifestyle. I always ate healthy, but it got me into meal prepping, cooking healthier food, reading books that I've been putting off to learn how to take care of my body. And I have basically cured myself 90% in the past year. But last, but not least, I manifested my dream home. And you know the funniest thing ever, so I manifested my dream home. Here's some shots of that video, like vision board. Let's do this. Vision board, reality, here I am, and here it is. Um, looking really similar to the photo. I mean, if you can see, um, on my vision board, it has one of these open windows and I really wanted that look and this place has it. And the craziest thing is, is I almost got two different places instead of this one. So the story behind this place is I have a friend who lives a couple doors down and I went in their house a few years ago and I said, I wish one day I could live here. And I never thought that I could. I thought I could never afford it. And even if I could, there's not that many of these models on the market and that it was brand new and they wouldn't be for sale. So this was about like three years ago. Fast forward to now, I looked at one of them, didn't like it. There was only like one for sale. It wasn't one that I liked. So we looked at other places. And the other places I looked at, we made an offer and I was stuck on the other places because they had ocean views. See, vision board, ocean view is on it. And I really wanted an ocean view. So there were three places I put an offer on and somehow I did not get any of those places. I was so sad. And everyone kept saying, you're gonna find something better. Literally the next week, this one went on the market. I was the first person to look at it the day it went on the market and I got it. You know, it doesn't have an ocean view, but I'm actually 
like this place more than an ocean view. It's just got a beautiful mountain view, a beautiful city view, which leads into the dog park. So there's two things. I have on here uh, a lavender Meryl Chihuahua. Um, obviously if I find a different Chihuahua that I want and love, that's what matters the most. But the funniest thing is, is Oh My Annie, if you guys follow me, you probably follow her, um, link below, walked into my place and instantly looked at the wall color because they're kind of like a periwinkle, like blue chihuahua color. And she was like, oh my God, your new place matches the dog you want to manifest. Like that's how much my friends know what I want to manifest. She's like, the place already matches the dog you're going to get. Isn't that great? Like, what are the chances? I know this is like a random thought, but what are the chances? So, I mean, we'll see. If I get a dog that matches the placement, that'd be cool. Obviously, I want to give a dog a good home and I want to love the dog, but it's just really funny. Like, what are the chances that the walls and the floor color that this place happened to have when I bought it match the type of dog that I want to get one day? And I'm not going to give away everything of the new house, because when I give a tour of the reveal, you are going to see how many things are in this house that manifested that were not only on my vision board, but have been just thoughts I had. Like, even as like a 10 year old kid, like, oh, you know how you're like, oh, I hope my house is like this one day? I thought that when I was 10, and it's in this house, so stay tuned. And, you know, I know I'm a believer in the law of attraction and, and manifesting and intention, but sometimes you're like, I feel this in my heart, but is it going to happen? And it's happening. And, and so many of you guys, and I know personally, that you tell me you watch my videos, and I don't really know who's watching this. And it means so much to me, because people have contacted me and said, I didn't see your heart before, but I see it now. And seeing you, go for what you want, not being afraid, has inspired me to go for what I want and not afraid. And never in my life did I feel like people truly knew me or understood me or even heard what I was saying. I just wanted to be heard. And for the first time in my life, I feel heard. I feel like I'm making a difference. I feel like I'm beginning to live my true purpose and I feel like I'm helping others do that too. So that's more than anything I could have asked for to come true from my vision board. And, you know, I just really wanted to thank you guys. Thank you guys for being so supportive, following me on my journey and my dreams coming true. Like my videos that get the most views, my posts that get the most likes and comments. It's you guys cheering me on for what I believe in. And it just makes me so happy to see that, I feel like I'm gonna cry, that the world truly cares more about other people's happiness and seeing others succeed. And it, it makes me believe what I believe is that when we see others succeed, it makes us want to succeed more. So thank you guys so much for supporting me, my channel, the kind words, believing in my vision board even on days that I don't. Thank you so much. I really hope this inspires you to take a stand for what you believe in and just put yourself out there and see where it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching. And yes, my vision board for 2019 came true. Stay tuned for my 2020 vision board coming soon. See you guys next time. Bye.